This question is one of my all-time favorite GMAT questions. I've been using it for years to convince people that the GMAT designs questions specifically to benefit people who use number line reasoning and to punish people who use algebra. What do we have here? They're telling us that if you multiply a times a plus 2, you get 24. So if you're used to number line reasoning, you would immediately visualize a and a plus 2 as two numbers on the number line, a is on the left, a plus 2 would be two units to the right of a. Now they're telling us that the product of these two numbers is 24, so can I think of two numbers on the number line that are two away from each other whose product is 24? And if it doesn't immediately come to you, you could even just start from the bottom of the number line, like 1 times 3, no, that's too small, 2 times 4, still not 24, 3 times 5, no, 4 times 6, bingo. So that means that it's possible that a is 4 and a plus 2 is 6. The only thing you have to remember, though, is to consider the mirror image. So the mirror image of 4 and 6 would be negative 6 and negative 4, so that's the other possibility. a would be negative 6 and a plus 2 would be negative 4. So the inference that we can make right off the bat at the beginning of this question is that a is either 4 or negative 6. Then we read on, and turns out the exact same is true of b. So b is also either 4 or negative 6, but then they tell us that a is not equal to b. So what does that tell me? One of them is 4 and the other of them is negative 6. I don't know which one is which, but as I continue to read the question, they're just asking for the sum of them. And if all I want to know is the sum of a and b, then I don't actually care which is which. What's the sum of 4 and negative 6? It's negative two. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.